Hello. A few of you on Reddit have been asking how to make these memes of the Episode 9 poster, similar to this one I did with Watto. I will show you how I made mine, therefore giving you the ability to replace the Emperor's face with anyone else's. First, I will show you how I made the template. However, you can skip this step as I will provide a download link in the description. Let's begin by importing the picture of the original poster right here. All right. Now we got to make sure that this is unlocked so we can edit it. Now we want to go to our spot healing brush. It's right here. It should tell you what it is if you scroll over it. We can use the brackets on your keyboard to adjust the size, or we could just go up here and drag, but I like to use the brackets because it's faster and easier. So all we're going to do is brush parts of Palpatine out of the picture. In fact, we can use bigger sizes. See? Oh no. Something like that happens, you could just erase it by going over it. It's very common. It's best to just get a basically everything out first, and then there's little weird things happening on like this. You could do it later. You just gotta do it a bunch of times to erase all of Palpatine. All right, now you see some weird, like, copies of stars over here. We could just keep doing that to get rid of them and move them around so that we don't have to, uh... It looks nicer. It looks more natural, then. You don't want a bunch of weird, like, smeared copies of the stars all over the place. You know, memes are a piece of art. You know, we gotta take it seriously to make the highest quality memes. All right. So we basically have this done. You want to go more intense, you could use stuff like the uh, stamped, clone stamp tool. It's right here. You just click on it. You could press Alt. Select the area. You want to have, you want to become a stamp, and then you could just like place it wherever you want the stars to be. I really like that, but I'm going to move. Should move this stuff over here. All right. All right. So we just made a fresh new template for us to use. Uh, so now I'm going to show you guys how to put the face of the character into the picture, replacing Palpatine's. All right. Now we got to find the character that you're going to replace Palpatine with. I am going to do the Gonk Droid. Because that is a pretty spicy one, I think. So we see the gonk droid here. We gotta find a high resolution picture. We, this gotta be this gotta be a high quality, crisp gonk droid. So we gotta click tools. We go to size, larger than. You know, larger than. I think uh, that's a quality resolution. All right, now we gotta look for a nice quality high res picture of a gonk droid. I think I will just use this one because it's from Battlefront and it's pretty high quality. You know, that's a quality picture. We're just going to save it. Save it as Gonk Droid under pictures. There we go. Wonderful. All right, show that in the folder so we have it for later. All right. So now we're back in our Photoshop file. We're going to find our picture of the gonk droid. You know, I'm, I'm just dragging it in from my other window. We have them right here. We're going to scale them up. Depending on your version of Photoshop, you might have to hold down Shift to scale them up evenly. However, on this newest version, uh, you do not have to do that. You just drag the corner, and it's fine. I think... 
this seems like a pretty good size. That's beautiful. All right. So now what we're going to do um, is try to get the gong droid out of the background. So we could do that a few ways. I'm going to use this uh, quick selection tool. I'm going to select the gong droid. Doesn't have to be perfect for now. All right. Hold down Alt. See how it turns into a minus? That means you're getting rid of the uh, selection instead of selecting stuff. So you do that and you just kind of paint over what do you want to get rid of. You don't want to be in the selection. All right, it's wonderful. Truly a beautiful gonk droid. You could put this antenna in there. You gotta be very careful and not delete the antenna. I'm zoom in a little more so we can see the pixels. Carefully outline the antenna. All right, that's pretty good. Now I gotta go under this thing. Don't want that in there. Don't want that in there. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Let's get this corner. It takes a little bit. It's not too bad, though. All right. It's wonderful. All right. So what you want to do is make sure you press Control-C to copy what you just selected. You know, you just create a new layer by pressing that button. You press Control-V to paste it. Could delete the old later. And there you go. The gong droid is now free from the surrounding background. Now this is the next big step. As you can tell, it looks nothing like a force ghost. And that's a big problem. So we're gonna apply the force ghost effects. And this is this was a lot of trial and error for me. You might find a better solution, but this is the best I could find. Uh, and this is what I did for my last meme. So you want to do you want to duplicate this layer with the gonk droid. Duplicate the layer. Press OK. You got a copy right here. Now you want to go into filter. Go to filter gallery. And you see this glowing edges effect underneath stylize. That's what you want. I set my edge width to 10, my edge brightness to 8, and my smoothness to 7. You can mess around with this how you want, but I figure this is the best. All right, so now it looks weird. That doesn't look like a force ghost. That looks like a scary glowing uh, wireframe thing. Well, you're right, but we're going to change this into something incredible. So now what we got to do, we got to go into blending options. Mine here. We want to go to this thing. It's like stain or statin or s s Satan. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that thing uh, right above color overlay. Make sure the blend mode, mode is on uh, multiply. Make sure the color is like a light blue. If you want to do my exact values, they're right here. R is 0, green is 150, and blue is 255. So you could just copy that if you want to, or you could just mess around. I think it's best to mess around, to be honest. All right, that's beautiful. All right. 
I'm just going to keep the opacity on 100 for now, but if you want to turn it down, you can to lessen the effect. All right. Now we're going to hide this layer for now. We're going to go back down to the first layer. We're going to apply the same color. The blending options. Go to the stain statin thing. And then go to the blend mode. Let's multiply. See, it's blue now. It's very blue and majestic. It's wonderful. All right. Re-enable your top layer. Put down the opacity so that you can kind of see the other one beneath it. All right. You can adjust that later. It's not a big deal if you don't like it right now. Now what we're going to do is go to our eraser tool. You're going to choose a soft round brush. And we're just going to erase chunks of it that are darkened. So just keep erasing some chunks off of it. It's really hard to tell the effect right now, but trust me, it's going to make a huge difference. All right, I'm going to go back to that bottom layer. We're going to move the opacity down. Right. See, move it down pretty low. Look at that. Look at that beautiful force ghost. You could erase some stuff on the bottom layer too to make some things blend more with the background. Kind of erasing the side here. Now, if you're doing your own character, I would just kind of erase by where the shadows are. I think that's your best bet. I just kind of race around it. I'm gonna do some more racing up here. Right now, the opacity of my racer is at 52, but you can make it 100% if you want to do more racing. But I like to be very careful. Actually, I'm gonna bring it up right now so they could erase more stuff. All right. Now we might want to erase the feet a little bit because they're kind of in, like, going inside of Ray and Kylo right now. So I'm just going to erase it on this layer. I'm going to go back to the other layer and erase it. You know, it's a lot of painting. There's a lot of art involved with this, this meme. All right. Now, I'd say that's a really beautiful picture. Um, so... If you want to do this yourself, go ahead. I'm going to put the template in the description, or you can make it yourself just to practice with the uh, spot healing brush. But overall, this is its a little bit more of a complicated meme to make. It takes some work, takes some time, but it's not too hard. As long as you have Photoshop and you have the patience, it's really not so bad. And I think there's a lot of great content that could come out of this, and I want to see your guys' work. So please post it. On Reddit, I'm sure I'll see it. You guys have a good one. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thank you, and goodbye.